Hey guys, uh, my name is Arjun. Today we are going to talk about swap sheets using an action filters. Let's see how it is working first. So I have a regional level sales that is central, east, south and west sales in a bar graphs. So what I'm going to show you is here is if I click on the regional level sales that is central region, then I will, I'm able to see in the below the category level sales of sales for that central region and suppose if i click on east then i'm able to see the furniture office supply technology sales for east region so this is how uh, the swap uh, using an action filter it's working so let's start from the beginning how to do this okay so for that how to create two sheet, uh, charts that is uh, that is two bar graph one is for region level level sales one is at a com category uh, uh, category level sales so let's see from region let's do it from regions and sales and let's to make it entire view and as well as just remove the grid line from the background and that is okay grid lines none fine so now again what i will do is i'll put the sales uh, no i'll take the regions in a color okay and let's make this the headers format headers into and i and i will make it little more uh, bold okay so fine so now let's take the sales into labels two labels okay and i think this looks fine so let's name it as region sales okay I'll remove this part as well. So no legends are required. So fine. Uh, let's take one more sheet and where we'll do category level sales. Okay, same way we'll remove the grid lines for this. Make the headers bold. Okay, so for this, we'll color the sales like full range method. Okay, and we'll change the color of this. Uh, we are selecting the use full range, and now we'll change it to green color okay fine so i'll let's take the sales again to labels fine i'll remove the legends again from here hide card we'll name this as category sales okay now two sheets are ready now we'll move to the dashboard so first of all, let's increase the size a bit, 1,200. And uh, now I'll take the vertical container. Okay, so let's track the region sales first. So, okay, perfect. Uh, and uh, let's give an headings like edit title, and a region sales, make it central bold black 20 old okay fine so let's hide this labels okay so now what we need we need a one more chart that is category level sales let's drag to the bottom so now we are able to see the category level sales also hide title hide field labels okay uh, let's make the alignment uh, 
okay fine uh, i think looks fine right so yes now we are able to see like two charts so but my requirement is like once if i click on any of the uh, this region sales then only the second chart chart should appear so for that we need to take actions let's go to dashboards actions add actions take the filter method then what is my source sale that is nothing but the region sales okay and what is my target sheet is nothing but category sales okay or well, an action let's do a method take a select method so here we need to select clear uh, carefully that is clearing the selection will be exclude all values that we need to select here okay target filter select all all fields okay fine okay nothing happened right here but let's click on one of the bar here is it changing yes now click outside the bar let's click outside the bar yes now it's disappeared right yes so this is how you can do a swap sheet okay so yes uh okay there this is a one way of doing the bar uh, like based on you have taken a bar graph now suppose same way you can take pie chart and you can do the same thing here okay let's put it in an entire view fine okay that's it i hope this video is useful to you thank you thank you everyone